Now a word about the ecumenical movement. The ecumenical movement has as old is as old as Christianity. Over the centuries, one pope after another has tried to reunite the separated Christians. However, the modern ecumenical movement, as we now know it, began in the early 20th century among the Protestants who wanted to restore some semblance of unity among their own people. Then the Second Vatican Council, as you know, has a whole document on ecumenism. But, let's be sure we know there are two kinds of ecumenism. I call them true and false. A one sensitive description of true ecumenism is that movement for reuniting the Christian churches of the world according to the teachings and the principles of the Roman Catholic Church. That is true ecumenism. Where there can be no unity among Christians unless and until they are united with one visible head on earth, the Bishop of Rome. In false ecumenism, all kinds of friendly relations, but my friends, you better, comma, you better be careful. Because unless you first understand, as you understand your own faith and understand what those whom you want to be ecumenical with, what they believe, and how their faith is not only different from, but in contradiction to our faith, what happens? I've quoted this figure before. These are the Vatican figures to me. The annual loss of Latin American Catholics to Protestant churches, the annual loss is one million. One million Catholics become Protestants among Latin Americans every year. And when I was in South America some two months ago, all I could do is ask God to give me the courage to tell the truth. Just thousands of Protestant churches in Latin America because Protestants have been spending here it not millions billions of dollars every year in converting Latin America and with them conversion means converting the people from Catholicism to Protestantism And they're doing the same thing here. (coughs) We hear this. We blink our eyes. We shake our head. And do nothing. My hope is the fruit of this course is to stir up your zeal to do something to protect our Catholics from being seduced from the one true faith 
at the same time, practice the charity we should practice to share our true faith with those who call themselves Protestants.